audio. This is like the second time I had to record this because I screwed up at first and I was recording like the first, I don't know, 20 seconds. So don't be surprised if I know some stuff already. I know I'd say I, all my reactions are authentic, but I, I, I screwed up, okay? So Pokey Ugami, go follow this guy right here on Twitter. I don't know if it's a guy or girl, but follow Pokey Ugami. Follow this artist right here. Um, I'll have their at, at the description below. I'll probably have the link as well. Um, this is a really good fan art they did where it shows like the old school Pokemon anime style or the game style but with the newer gen Pokemon and everything so it's a whole video it's like a little test video showing like how they did it and uh, you should probably go check that out I'll probably give you the full link to that test video and everything below uh, hope y'all enjoy that so definitely follow them make sure you follow Poke uh, Yagami okay now getting into it let's go ahead and get in this reaction I was gonna have my youngest baby in it, but she wasn't digging it, so I'd take her out of that. That was another reason why I started the video over. My poor baby, she's over there having juice. She don't want to hang out with dad when it comes to reaction videos, huh? <laughs> Silly baby. All right, y'all. Let's get into it. <coughs> Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Ha ha ha. So I did see the new Pokemon they got announced. I saw these as cool little cards. This little guy right here, Cyclozar, but I have seen him before I even got to this reaction video. Um, it looks like it could be the first stage of Miraidon and Coridon, Miraidon. Looks like it'd be the first form. And depending on which game you play, that should determine what it evolves into. I hope they have leg legendary evolutions. I remember um, some people on Reddit were talking about that and I was like, I'm highly interested in seeing that again, kind of like what we had with um, uh, Soul Gale and uh, Lunala, how they were, you know, first form was the little guy, then evolved three, it went three steps, you know, and then uh, kind of like what happened with Cub Fu and um, Ursaring, so, not Ursaring, <laughs> Ursifu, sorry, so I'm hoping we get something like that again, that'd be cool. We have Cyclozar, and Dragon Normal type. Shed Tail, so that's a new move. It says, creates a substitute that swaps places with the party Pokemon in wait. But my question with that is, oh, so it puts out a decoy for the other Pokemon. I was about to ask that. I was like, hold on. So does that put out a substitute for the other Pokemon so that way they have a substitute when they come out? That way, if you need to switch out because you got the wrong Pokemon for this fight. Okay, that's cool. <coughs> Belly Drum for Azumarill. Ooh, hold on. New item, Mirror Herb. Copies an opponent's stat increase when. Ooh! Ooh! Hold on. Okay, so this is the Pokemon uh, competitive play trailer for Scarlet Valley. I'm sorry, I didn't actually say that. I usually introduce that when you go do a video. And this is the competitive trailer. I'm going to see if there's another trailer too because I heard there was more that gives more information. So I'm going to look into that too. So sorry about that if I keep pausing. Just making sure I reiterate. So anyway, yeah, this is the competitive uh, play trailer. So that's why we're seeing a lot of competitive stuff like certain items, certain moves. So now we're gonna see the competitiveness of going a terraform. <coughs> okay, so ter terrestrialize and change types. Turn tables, yep. So if real time uses hydro pump, say on uh, big old colossal here, which is coming back. Gang gang, I was a big colossal fan when they came to uh, Sword and Shield. You okay, baby? Yeah. Well, I know you're okay, Lucilia. Okay, silly baby. But yeah, so Terrestrial Lightning changes the types. So you can change the types in the middle of a fight, and I guess it's like Dynamaxing, except you change their types. So right when they're about to hit you with this Hydro Pump, it's not very effective. Okay. And the speed still rises, because that's from Colossal's uh, ability, which is uh, Steam Steam Engine. Yeah, it still does that. That's cool. So that actually makes that kind of cool for a fight like that. And then it says, new item loaded dice makes multi-strike moves more likely to hit more times. So it's making it more likely to hit, I think it's going to be like, usually when they have something like that, it's usually from, instead of like 2 to 5, it goes from 3 to 5, so it always hits with a good multiple hit. Okay. Four. And since that Blissey was already dying, it's only going to do 4. Okay, so it probably guarantees more of a, a 4 to 5 at that. Okay, change Tyranitar to a ghost type. Use close combat. Doesn't affect him. 
Ooh, Terra Blast. So it changes the type when the user has been terrestrial. Okay. Oh! Uh, worldwide, November 18, 2022. So there wasn't much we could dissect from that. Of course, you get the special Pikachu. So you have to get this Pikachu and you pre ordered it, picked up your game, did the. You know, did the mystery gift and all that. Okay, cool. Let me see what else is on here. Yeah, this is the same one from um, Pokemon Presents. So, alright, alright. So with this, I know this reaction is probably going to be really short. So I do apologize if it's a short reaction. But what, what we're going to do to make up for that, I was going to do a separate reaction, but I'll put them both together. So we did the Pokemon competitive trailer. Now we're going to look into... Because you guys know, you guys know I'm a big ass Tekken fan, and it's on Netflix now, as I'm as I'm talking about this. But we're gonna do the Tekken Bloodline trailer. I don't know if that's even in English. Okay, these are all in different languages, and it's really annoying the hell out of me. Why can't I just find the trailer? Let's see. Ah, here we go. That's the trailer I'm looking for. Comments are turned off. What does that mean? Bro. Oh, no. Wow, so they restricted the video? Are you fucking kidding me? Why is the video restricted? What kind of mess is this? Netflix, what did y'all do to restrict your own video? Alright, so I'm sorry about that, guys. Um, I didn't even know the Tekken Bloodline trailer was even... I don't understand. I don't understand why Netflix, their own YouTube channel, they can't show the trailer to their own series that's currently out right now. It doesn't make a lick of sense. They got restricted by who? Namco? Namco, you're working with Netflix. What? I don't understand. I get the whole thing that happened with my other reaction with uh, Legend of Dragon Ball Tale. Okay, they took characters that are already copyrighted and already used by Toy Animation, Funimation. All that shit. But that made no sense. If Netflix is doing a deal with with uh, Namco, Bandai Namco, it don't make no sense that if Bandai Namco got rid of it, whatever is going... Netflix, y'all don't make no sense. First, first that cutie shit, and now this. Okay, I'm done griping. If you guys like this competitive trailer that I first reacted to, and you love that art from uh, Pokey... Uh, I'm so mad about the whole Netflix thing, I can't even think straight. Uh, from Poki Yugami, sorry. If you like the artwork from Poki Yugami, you want to see more of their artwork, and you also want to see the video for where that artwork came from, that screenshot, definitely I'll have the link in below for you guys. I just don't understand what Netflix is thinking by getting rid of their trailer to something that's like a big, colossal, like, empire. Daddy! It has a great following behind it, a good fighting game following, including myself and other people I know. So, yeah. Sorry, y'all. Peace.